Hi, Shelly. Let's take a look at this new set. University students nowadays have too much freedom, don't study enough. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay. The issue of whether students in universities should pay more attention to pursuing freedom or need to focus on academic study has been extensively debated. This essay will discuss both views as explain, as well as explain why both freedom and academic study are equally important in my opinion. Okay, I like your second sentence. I didn't love this. Look at what you wrote here. Whether they should pay more attention to pursuing freedom. It's not really a very natural expression. We don't say, hey, you know what? I think we need to pay more attention to pursuing freedom. Uh-uh. It, it, it's not something we wouldn't say. So let's see what you could have done instead, which would have felt a little more natural, um, which would have felt like more natural English. So the issue of whether students in universities should um, focus on their freedom or need to focus on, mm, yeah, focus twice. Okay, let me try it again. The issue of whether students in universities should, okay, focus more on freedom or on their academic study has been extensively debated. Okay, or instead of freedom, you could have said their free time. So the issue of whether students in universities should focus more on their free time or their academic study has been extensively debated. Okay, that's a much better way of doing this. Let's see the next sen uh, paragraph. On one hand, generally speaking, all the students in universities have obligations to study hard, contributing to scientific improvement of the society, I want to say, contributing to the something of somebody. Yeah, contributing to scientific improvement of the society. Again, that feels a little awkward, though, I got to be honest with you. So maybe you could have said, um, have obligations to study hard, contributing to um, scientific improvement, full stop. You don't need to say of the society. However, it seems that nowadays in universities, too much freedom has been rendering the students distracted from their study, not being. This is because many students have no idea how to deal with their leisure time, leading them to falling victim to internet addiction such as online games and throwing away their study obligations. In this case, some experts state that appropriate guidance should be taken by universities to help students efficiently utilize leisure time, also emphasizing the importance of study. All right, so grammatically you can see that there were a number of areas I needed to clean up. Um, there were some errors. It was okay other than that. I mean had some errors. It wasn't, I wouldn't say that it was primarily correct and accurate. I would say that there were um, some errors throughout this paragraph. What I want to make sure that I understand here, so I just want you to work with me for a minute while I kind of think aloud, is I want to see how on topic this was and how clear your idea was here. So what you told us is that you will discuss both views. You will say why freedom and academic study are equally important. So here, what's the general idea? What's the central idea of this paragraph? That's what I need to figure out. Generally speaking, they need to study hard. They need to focus on their academics. However, they're getting distracted because they don't know how to deal with their leisure time. So the school should give them guidance. Um, so I'm not really sure what the central idea is here. I mean, I guess you're saying that, yes, they don't know how to deal with their leisure time. They do mess it up, and so they need to study harder. I'm really not sure what the central idea is here. Let me see if um, I can see what the next paragraph is about. On the other hand, I would argue that, the, that freedom, not the freedom, I would argue that freedom is as equally important as academic study. It is a consensus. Not it is, How about there is a consensus that more free time can make young people think deeply about their own lives and future. In addition, having enough free time, students who are in really interested in their own academic subjects can spend more time reading, thinking, discussing, and achieving academic freedom, which are far more when it comes to advanced scientific development. I don't understand that. Far more what? 
More importantly, universities are not only places for studying, but also platforms to make friends, to socialize, mm, and to socialize by using more free time, which is beneficial for developing their interpersonal skills. Okay, so let me see if I understand this correctly. This one is emphasizing the importance of freedom. This one is emphasizing the importance of uh, academic study. Okay, so I then I didn't really totally understand why you have this bit of contrast here. I can't say that it helped you. All I could say instead is that it really kind of confused what the central idea of this paragraph was. This was clear that they have obligations to study. This was clear that they need guidance, okay? But all of this really rather confused me, so I wasn't sure what you were focusing on in that paragraph, okay? Um, you probably should have stuck to something more, um, more straight along the lines of, look, these are the reasons why focusing on academic study is very important. So you could have said things like, um, when the young people are out in the workforce, um, they will need to learn how to focus. They will need to know how to focus, how to be diligent, how to be conscientious about their work responsibilities, et cetera, et cetera. Therefore, um, we should not spoil them early with too much free time. Um, and they should get used to working under difficult time constraints or something like that. So all of this would have made more sense than this bit here that I've highlighted, okay? All right, let's see. In conclusion, universities should keep a balance between providing students with enough freedom and encouraging them to study hard simultaneously. Also, students are supposed to make sound use of their time improving themselves. All right, I don't know if I love this sentence here. It really feels like this idea has come from nowhere. It's not related to anything you've said anymore, uh, anywhere else. It's, um, I would have had something maybe more of a prediction, maybe more related to what you've already talked about. So you could have said um, they should strike a balance, you should keep a balance, encouraging them to study hard simultaneously. Um, in this way, um, it is predicted that we will have a more um, productive and psychologically healthy society as we move forward. So that would have made a little more sense, okay? All right, let's take a look at what you wrote. Um, the travel company, what happened with your trip? Let's see. Dear Mr. Jackson, I am writing to express my complaints about the trip I experienced last week. How about the trip I took last week? In, not in, on June the 28th, I booked a trip to France with your company, which includes the return flight tickets between London and France, a complimentary shuttle and bus from Paris airport and the hotel, and one week's accommodation in the hotel. After we landed in Paris, there was actually no bus service there. We spent one hour, no S, at the airport uh, and or when finally we had to take a taxi to the hotel. The taxi fee was 110 euros. I have enclosed a receipt. When we got to the hotel, the accommodation was not so comfortable with, dirty, with a dirty bathroom. In addition, there was no breakfast, so we had to buy breakfast for the week, which was 100, was 500 euros. I have also, mm, I also, I have also enclosed these receipts. I doubt the trip was really worth what I paid. The whole trip did not resemble, not didn't, did not resemble what you promised. Therefore, I would suggest that I should be given a refund uh, of 610 euros, including the taxi fee and breakfast fee. I look forward to your response at yours sincerely. Okay, it's fine. I mean, obviously, there were a couple little issues with grammar, but nothing else really very serious. On the whole, I thought it was fine. You just have to clean up some of those little... Um, small errors okay so good job keep at it keep working um this was all in all was fine in terms of task achievement i didn't really have a comment about it other than what i've already said but just make sure that you've covered everything in the bullets before i let you go what action should be taken what was wrong with the trip when the trip okay fine 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 um 
fine. Okay, yeah, so I thought this was, um, you know, you didn't, for the most part, what you were supposed to do. So let's meet back here with a new set of essays. I'll be waiting, and good luck to you.